guys welcome to my kitchen my name is kenna and i'm your favorite cameroonian youtuber based in Douala, cameroon so if you have been on this channel for the longest time or not even that long you will know that my favorite part of my house is my kitchen i love spending time in my kitchen i love cooking i like that's one of my favorite things to do so today i decided to come up with a couple of my favorite spices so i'll be showing you those spices that when i put in my food it makes the food different it makes it taste very nice and i just love it i know these spices i'll talk about many of you would probably already know it but my dear if there's something i'm doing here that you have not done before you want to let me know in the comment section if there's a spice that you feel i should try out you should let me know so yes guys that is it so if you are interested to see how i do that keep watching <laughs> so the first thing you should know is growing up i have i was never into spices like that i just knew the basics when it came to cooking i was not used to experimenting i used to look at all spices like oh my god what is this this is so strange i have never seen this i had never tried it like i wasn't really into spices like that but as i grew i decided like oh i want my food to be a little different i like my food to taste a little different so when i moved to my own house i started experimenting and trying different spices and if you are a cameroonian you should know that there are so many spices we have so many different cameroonian spices it would blow your mind so i was like um let me be trying these things because i want my food to taste a little different so i started trying different things and guys i will not tell a lie those spices that i've been trying it has changed my cooking game completely so let's say this is the first part of the video today i'll be showing you five spices and these are really common ones five spices that i put so let's go straight into it guys let's go straight into it enough of the talking let's go into it the very first spice we have here is njangsa some people call it njangsanga okay this is njangsa it's just this round <laughs> i almost said balls it's just this round spice this is how it looks and it has a very powerful smell i love njangsa to make njangsa sauce in particular Jangsa sauce is so delicious. I love it. I don't use it only for Jangsa sauce. I use it. It's normally a um, um, important component for Bongo Chobi. It's important for pool fish. I love the smell of Jangsa. Do you love the smell of Jangsa? Because I completely enjoy how it smells. It smells so sweet. It has a unique smell. If they're cooking anything and you get the smell, you're going to love. And one thing I noticed about Jangsa is eating Jangsa with things like cassava bobolo miondo it enhances it it tastes so good it's something i'll definitely tell you to try so yes i love njangsa a lot and the strangest place or the strangest meal which i put njangsa in is beans when people hear that kenna puts njangsa in beans it's always their reaction for me <laughs> a lot of people would laugh and be like what are you even serious but yes i put njangsa in beans and i like it because it gives it makes the beans being soft and it gives it one beautiful flavor i don't put it in white beans i put it in red and black beans and it is so delicious so if you haven't tried it before you should try it and i don't put too much i put just like two tablespoons of it and it tastes delicious it changes the flavor of my beans and of recent i went to the market and i saw this blended one in the package and i was like oh i'm going to try it and i'll let you people know i really do not like it i feel like um it's not the real thing yes it has the flavor but the flavor is not as strong as the original jangsa for those who do not know for you to make jangsa all you have to do is you could grind it on your pepper stone or you could go ahead and just throw it inside the blender and it is going to blend and then you can use it as you please <laughs> Thank you. 
the next spice we have is my favorite spice of all time if you have been on this channel you know my relationship with kitchen glory mix spice see guys i love it because it has cloves in it it has coriander it has black pepper it has turmeric and it has nutmeg i love love this spice i put it in almost everything and yes when i put it in my videos a lot of people come where is kitchen glory coming from with how can you be putting kitchen glory in traditional meals a lot of people feel that this kitchen a lot of people read kitchen glory as chicken glory i don't know why they do that so each time i put it in different meals some people are like how can i put chicken spice in um traditional meals and things like that but you see this spice guys i put it in everything and i am not talking loosely except things like vegetables and um, vegetables like maybe um dole dole yes and aero and things like that other than that i put this in everything and i love the smell i love the taste see guys if you are not trying if you have not used this spice then you are sleeping you are sleeping this the mixture of all these spices makes a delicious delicious um spice so this is something that i don't joke with every month i buy a lot and just keep in the house because this is something i don't play with <laughs> next thing we're going to talk about is white pepper white pepper is one of my favorite spices because it just gives it a little extra spice it gives it the little knack that knack that you're like mm, this is going to it's, it hits differently when you put white pepper i put white pepper in so many things especially things like my when i'm um, spicing my chicken when making sauce when making like dole everything you would always see me put white pepper in it because white pepper is that thing that just takes it from 50 to 100 in the blink of an eye i love 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 it so much especially as my kids do eat pepper so when i put white pepper there it's just gives it the balance because honestly in my house we are really really not pepper people like that so white pepper and this one is original white pepper from the mungu okay perfect see guys it's it, it it's as hot as anything and growing up i can remember my mom was always telling me that she did not want to buy not growing up but a few years before my mom traveled she was always like she didn't like this um sachet peppers because it did not taste as good as the other one that you buy and grind but with time she got to agree with me that this one is really good so i use this in a lot of the things that i cook the next spice we have is thyme see guys um would you believe that i only started using thyme like three years ago thyme is that spice that i never really got to use very often i i did not even know like i was so bad with spices guys like i did not know which spice is which one and to be very honest i am still learning because i see new spices every day but thyme for me is like hmm, i'm like what have you been all my life when i'm making my fried rice my jollof rice my chicken like my sauces i just put in time and time just gives me what i want it always gives me that thing i want it makes it extra okay it makes it extra because growing up i never really saw my mom putting time in sauce so when i just tried it like see guys when i started using spices i was just going crazy i would just dump different spices in the pots anyhow and when i dumped spice um time in my sauce it gave me one flavor i was looking for so this time i don't joke now i don't mix any sauce without um thyme in it and mm, time time it's so delicious i love it
next one we have is curry powder i have a personal relationship and soft spot for curry powder why because guys growing up when i was in the um, no when i was in secondary school boarding school guys i used curry was like my magic my magic spice i used curry a lot i was using curry to put in my rice put in my concha it would just give it an extra taste at that time this was it was not this type of curry that was available there was this curry in a little cup that was available i used to buy like three and each time i would put it in my food and oh my god it used to give me that beautiful flavor see guys each time after i left boarding school when i smell curry it's like a nightmare because i had eaten so much curry but yes guys that is it So guys we have come to the end of this video here are my five top favorite Cameroonian spices what do you think do you use any of these spices do you think there are some spices that I don't use that you would like to let me know but like I said guys this is the first part of the video we're going to have the second part coming soon did you enjoy watching this is it necessary for me to put out the second part let's talk more in the um in the description box sorry in the comment section and yes guys let me know what you think um do you enjoy videos like this do you want me to do more videos like this let's just talk more guys and i am going to see you later and yes if you've watched and reached this point you know you are my mvp so please 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 do not forget to click on that subscribe button thank you very very much and i am going to see you on my next one love you so much bye